Three cargo ships have successfully sailed through the new canal. They varied in dimensions and weight. The heaviest carried around 159,000 tons and reached nearly 46 feet depth under sea level. It's the first official test for the project, coming just 12 days ahead of the official inauguration scheduled on August 6. As a citizen of Egypt, I feel it's a revolution, but not by words. It's a revolution of work and truth. Egyptians promised that in one year this project will be accomplished. The entire world can now witness this great achievement. The new Suez Canal is not only for Egyptians, but for the entire world, to facilitate trade across the globe. As an Egyptian, I'm proud of every person who participated in this project. The government estimates the new waterway will increase the canal's revenue to over $13 billion by 2023. Currently, it's one of the main sources of foreign currency for the government, bringing nearly $5 billion annually. Some critics believe the projections are exaggerated. Nonetheless, many Egyptians believe the project holds a better future for them. As the ships have passed peacefully this week, the canal will operate well and it will help in Egypt's renaissance. Hopefully, it will be a project of big returns that will last to our children and grandchildren. The chairman of the Suez Canal Authority said more test runs would follow. That's to confirm that the canal's expansions could accommodate ships with depth up to 66 feet. Helicopters and naval vessels have been securing the first test run for the new Suez Canal. The waterway borders the Sinai Peninsula, which has been base for militant groups. Hundreds have been killed in clashes with the armed forces there. Security measures have been heightened. The government says it's taking all measures to guarantee the security and safety of the canal. It doesn't want anything to disrupt the opening ceremony next month. Adil Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.